I got my very first line and post. And line and post is a box. It's not necessarily a subscription. You can, I guess, get one whenever you want. Um, but what you do is you tell them what you want them to send you. So you put things in your list and if it's available, they will send it to you. I believe you get three things at a time, or maybe four, three to four things at a time. Um, so let's see. I will put the link in the description. This is really pretty. This looks nice. Look at that. I like that. So it's got this deep navy blue tissue paper, and then the card is up here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it does, let's see here. So thanks for shopping at Lion and Post. Uh, so you have seven days to try on your pieces, decide what to keep. Please do not remove any tags until you've committed to buying. Um, keeping everything, blah, blah, blah. Returning pieces, no problem. So you don't get a discount or anything if you keep anything. Um, returning is really easy. You send it back, free shipping. So just like other places, that's awesome. And that's it. Okay, and then it looks in here like I have a personal note. Hi Vanessa, thanks for joining LMP. It's great to have you on board. We hope you enjoy trying on these beautiful pieces in the comfort of your own home. Hashtag farewell fitting rooms. <laughs> cool. And then I think this is showing me what I've got here. So I have four pieces in here. Um, I did put quite a few things in my queue, I guess we'll call it. Um, and some of them were already like waitlist, waitlist, waitlist. So we'll see what I have in here. It tells me in here, but until I see them, I don't remember what I picked. Um, now, Lion and Post, their prices are pretty high. Um, I do have some non sale items in my queue, but the majority are all items that are on sale. And even their sale prices are a little high or you know, around the Stitch Fix box range on sale. So, I mean, they have tops and stuff, 200 plus. I mean, they're pretty pricey. Um, but the items that I picked are all kind of, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so here's my bundle. Let's see, I think you can get a better view. Well, that was a good view, but here's this view too. Okay, and then here's my bag that I'm gonna send stuff back in, whatever I don't wanna keep. All right, let's break this bad boy open. <laughs> so right on top, okay. So I love watching other YouTubers doing try-ons and stuff because it really lets me know what I think I would be interested in. And this sweater on top, I have now seen two times. <laughs> Um, and I do know that it runs big. I believe I asked for, okay, this is a small, I think I asked for a medium, but this is a small and it looks like it's gonna fit me. So, and I'm a size 12. Um, so what this is, is the Zoe Carson Linen Long Sleeve in Optical White mid mid Medieval Blue for $48. Now. On here it says medium, size medium, because I'm pretty sure that's the size that I requested. But on this shirt it says size small. It says small, so I don't know if maybe they mixed my shirt up with somebody else's um, because it seems to be <laughs> getting requested a lot. But I just love the way it looks and it feels really neat. I mean I like it, it's so soft. The arms actually feel like it's a different material than the main part of the shirt. So, but I mean, this is a small, and look, it looks like it fits. So, I hope it fits. I'm excited to try that on. Um, it is long sleeve, and we still are in summer, but I've said on some previous videos that I am going to be trying to gear for fall because I have nothing in my fall wardrobe, nothing. Okay, the fan keeps blowing my sheet away. Okay, so the next one is a Vince Stripe Block Slim Fit V in Monaco Optic White. Now this is a size large and it looks exactly like that size small. That's hilarious. Um, and this is $41.25. So obviously there's like a theme here going on. I like the stripes and I love blue. So I got this one just in case that one doesn't fit and I don't like it. I wanted to have two different kinds to try on. 
but I really look, like how it looks like it's almost layered. So it's got the white on the bottom and then it starts striping right around my elbow. So I just thought that was cute and it looks like it's long, but it is thin. So I believe I can wear this. I don't need to necessarily, it's not sweater like. I don't have to wait until the winter. I can wear this in the fall. So that's the next one I'm gonna try on. Now this is a sweater. I just saw it and I thought it was cute so I wanted to try it. Um, and I believe it's probably too expensive for me, but I wanted to try it. So this is Jack by BB Dakota and it is a Pavardi Marlin sweater, color black and white in a large and it's $74. This is really pretty. I just, I really like it and it feels like it's hand knit. I mean, I don't know. I just really, I, if it feels, if it fits really well, I'm going to keep this because I think this would look really cute with some jeans and boots for the winter. It's nice. I like it. Okay, now I just saw this pattern. I'm going to show you guys. This is not what I thought they were going to be at all. It, they even feel weird. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Um, I just saw the pattern and I was like, gosh, that's kind of fun, like a graffiti um, type pattern for some shorts because I have a couple black tops that I thought would look cute with it that I could wear, you know, when, when I'm out with the kids. Um, so it's got this pattern on the front and on the back. It is a zip and clasp closure. And on the side it has this kind of, I guess, mesh with a lining on it. So that's on both sides. I don't even know how to describe the feel of this. It almost feels like a wetsuit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I thought it would be fun. So I'm going to try it on. Anyway, what are these? These are Satin and ba Babby, Bobby Freeze shorts, color splatter print in a size 10. They might be too small, um, but I just wanted to try them. And these are $96.25, so there's no way I'm going to keep them. That's just too much for some shorts, but I just thought they would be fun to try on. So we're going to try these on. Let's try this stuff on and see how it fits. Okay, so this sweater is $74.00 but I love it. The length is really good for, I mean, like I like, I just picture myself with a big cup of soup or coffee by a fireplace reading a book or something because, oh my gosh, I mean, I like it when my sweaters go a little bit, they're a little oversized, so they go, you know, halfway through my hand, if you can see there, um, and it's just this material, this like hand knit material, and the colors, it's it's not white, it's like a cream with black. I just like it. And I like the bottom, it has a tiny little slit. It does go down, you know, pretty low, covers half my butt. It's just, I mean, this is the perfect winter sweater. And I know we are in summer, I mean, I have my fan up as high as it'll go because I am hot right now, but it's just really comfortable and I love it. So I think I'm gonna have to keep this. I just have it on with some jeans. Um, but I feel like it's a good length where I could probably wear it with leggings also. So I'm really going to have to decide about this one because I like it a lot. I guess it depends on how the other two fit. Um, but I do like this a lot. A lot. It's so comfortable. <laughs> I love it. So let's try those other ones on and see how those fit. Okay, so this one is just under $42. And I like this one too. It feels nice and I can pull it up to where you know if my hands get a little chilly or I can wear it normally it's not too big it fits really nice and I I like this arm detail and then the band of white at the bottom it does have a slit along the side I mean I just it's really comfortable it's very comfortable I love it I like the color it's just pretty I like the little details all the little white pieces it's pretty. I like it. It fits really well. And I mean, it's blue, which is my favorite color. So I'm going to have some decisions to make. Let's try on that last one that I've seen on a few people already and see how it fits. So here is the sweater, long sleeve linen shirt that I saw and loved it on a few other people. This is a size small and it fits pretty well, I guess. I I really wish, I asked for a medium and I wish they would have sent me a medium because I feel like 
that would have fit a little better. I mean, this is not, I mean, I've never, I haven't worn a small in many, many years. Um, and I'm surprised that I even got this on and it's not, it's still, there's lots of material. I just feel like the medium would have fit me a little better. Um, it does not flatter me as much as I think the medium would have. Um, but I do love these colors. I like this pattern with the big stripe on the arm and the small stripe on the chest area a lot better than the previously one, the one that I tried on previously, that lighter blue with the white detailing on it. So if I had to choose, it would have been this one. So maybe I can get it in a medium. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask them. I love it with jeans. I mean, it looks really good. I even have blue nail polish on and I just, I love it all together. Um, so I don't know, it does feel like it's a little see-through. I can't see it like when I'm looking down, but on the camera, I feel like I can see my bra and my jeans, like where my jeans start. I can see it on there. So I can't see it right here in person, so I don't know. It feels like it's a little sheer. So we'll see. We'll see about this one too. I might have to contact them and ask them if I get it in a medium, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my other clothes back on. Okay, so that was really hot, <laughs> trying on all these long sleeve items in the hot summer in Texas. Um, unfortunately, and I kind of had a feeling that they were not going to fit, but I wanted to get them sent to me anyway, just in case, you know, I could have a fun piece in my wardrobe, but these are too small. They do not fit. I could, I got them up. I just could not close them completely. So these are definitely a no, and they probably would have been anyway. They were almost $100 for a pair of shorts, so. But, you know, I thought I would try them out and be fun. Um, and then this one, oh my gosh, I'm, I wish I would have been sent the right size. So I am going to contact Line and Post and see if they can send me a medium because I will definitely purchase this shirt if they can send me a medium. Um, the small was just too small and I, they, they just messed up somehow because I requested a medium and it even says medium on the um, price sheet, but the shirt is a small. It says small. Yeah, it's a small. So I feel like a medium um, definitely would have fit better. So, and I love it. I love the colors. Um, and the small fit okay. It was just a little too fitted for my liking. I like my tops a little baggy. Um, so I definitely loved it. And I'm going to purchase it if I can get it in a medium. So, I, I mean, I feel like I'm going to buy all three shirts. I really liked this one. I liked how it fit. I like how it felt. I like the color. Um, I don't know if, I mean, is it okay to have both of these in my wardrobe? <laughs> if they send me this in a medium. Um, so this is 48 and this is 41, I believe. Yeah, this is 41. So I don't know, are they too similar? I mean, they have different details on them. So I'll have to really decide between the two. And I guess if they don't have a medium that one, then you know, my decision is made for me. I'll get this one. Um, now this one, I loved it. It was so comfortable. Um, and I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it. It's just $74. $74 for a sweater, which I won't even wear for at least two, maybe three months. Um, although in October, we are going to be taking a trip and the nights are going to be really cold and our trip is to like we're making our way to the Grand Canyon, so we're gonna be outdoors a lot, and I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this in October on that trip. So I just don't know if $74 is too much to spend on a shirt. I'm sure lots of people do it. I just personally have not, um, but it is really comfortable. I mean, I love it. So, oh my gosh, decision, decisions. I didn't feel like I was, I didn't think I would like everything in the box. I mean, minus the shorts. The shorts are already out of my mind. It's just these three. Um, so I have some decisions to make. So let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Um, I am going to keep getting line and post to go through the stuff that I have in my queue because all the pieces look, I mean, their stuff looks really nice and fabulous and I really want to try it out. So I don't mind spending a little bit much more as long as, I guess I'm gonna have to do some research and see what people think after they've had their pieces for a while. Um, I do see with Stitch Fix, uh, Stitch Fix, I love Stitch Fix, um, and I just recently got my fifth box from them, but the pieces that I have purchased are already 
starting to show a little wear and like I have strings coming off in places so I feel like their quality is not in the tops the bottoms that I have are awesome um, but the blouses and things like that I feel like the quality isn't in the price that I'm paying for it so I don't know I might just be getting bottoms and stuff from Stitch Fix. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, so that's what I'm concerned about is paying these prices. I want to make sure these feel a lot better um, and the fact that they're sweaters and stuff, they're thicker. Um, so we'll see. We'll see about that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys have any suggestions um, about what I should do, <laughs> if I should keep things and what I shouldn't keep. Um, and then on quality, let me know what you guys think about the quality. If you have purchased line and post and you've had some pieces for a while, let me know how they're holding up. And also if you have any suggestions about Stitch Fix, if maybe I'm just, I mean, I'm washing them on Delicate in cold. Um, sometimes I let them air dry, but sometimes I do dry them on Delicate as well. So um, maybe I just don't dry them anymore, I don't know. But let me know in the comments below because I'm used to just having t-shirts and jeans where I can just throw in the wash and that's it. I don't have to worry about, you know, really taking care of my items. So these pieces that I'm getting, I need to start taking care of better, I guess. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think, suggestions, hints, tips, tricks, all that good stuff down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, hit that like button and that lets me know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. <laughs> Bye.